All right, so Fortnite added a nice new change for your locker, and they didn't mention it in the patch notes. So this is something a lot of people have been requesting for years, and it's basically a way to delete things from your locker without actually truly deleting them. So you can archive them, and that's exactly what it's called. On the bottom right, while you're in your locker, you can see the new prompt for archive, and it says hold. So again, what does this do? It removes the item from your locker, but it doesn't permanently delete it. In a sense, it does delete it, but not permanently. You can always get it back. So let me show you how this works. So let's first try it on the music packs. Now, obviously I don't run any copyrighted music for obvious reasons. I don't want to get copyright struck. So let's find a copyrighted music pack right here. The Playground Instrumental. This was unfortunately from the Arcane League of Legends set. And I really wanted to play this one, but again, it's copyrighted, so I can't. It's pretty much useless to me. So if I hold the left analog, which is what it says, the L button, this is what happens. Boom. So on the top, it says archiving. Now, in addition, a prompt comes up and it says archived items will remain equipped in the locker and presets. Okay, that's fine. So we'll dismiss that. So now we're on the archiving screen and you can select whichever ones you want to archive. So I'm going to do this one and hit X and it says archive one item. So you have to confirm it with square. So I'll just do this one for now. So again, as you can see, when you highlight it, a little trash can symbol pops up. And then when you're ready, you hit square or whatever that prompt will say for you. So there it goes. It's been removed from my locker. It says item has been sent to the archive filter. It's completely gone. So how do you then access it once you delete it? Well, you go to sort plus filter. So I'm gonna hit R2. And down here is the archived section. So it's not really deleted, but in a sense it is. And if you ever want to bring it back, you can just hold L again or whatever button it prompts you down there. So I'm going to hold it. And now you can unarchive so you can pick which ones you want. I'm going to pick that. When you're ready, you hit square. Boom. And now it's back in my locker. So this is going to make cleaning up your locker so much easier. And you may be asking, well, why is this necessary? Well, for people like me or people that have tons of items, it's a hassle. I have 1,069 skins. For me to scroll down, look at this. It lags ferociously. Look how much it paused right there. I have so many skins that it's super hard to find things when I need to do it lickety split. Now, of course, we also have the search function, so you can do that as well, but it makes it so much easier. Another good thing about this for the emote section, there are so many sprays and emojis. Look at this, I have 302 emojis that I'm probably never gonna see or use. Yet when I go in here, they cluster up my entire menu. When I just want dances, I don't wanna see all these emoticons and things like that. So I could go through and just archive all of them. Let me just show you real quick. So let's go to emojis. I'm gonna go ahead and hold L again. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's a way to select all. So I'm literally gonna have to go through here and highlight all 300 plus emoticons. Yes, it'll take a while, but it'll be worth it in the end. Oh, so I did 108 of them so far, and yes, it does take quite some time. Well, it just depends on how many you have, obviously. So I'm gonna archive 108 of them, and then we should be good to go. Now it cut down 108 of them. Now again, if I wanna go back to it, all I have to do is go to sort plus filter, and they'll be right down here, 108. Now look at this, my emoji count is now dropped to 194 because I essentially deleted them from my locker. But at any given time, I can go back in here and get them all back, which again is gonna be a pain in the butt because I have to go through and bring them all back. Now you can still equip them from the archive section. So that's good, I guess, if you ever wanna run them. So the main use that I personally am gonna get out of this, as I showed you, is to get rid of all the copyrighted things. The emotes, the music packs, everything that's copyrighted, I'm gonna archive. Now, if you want to unclutter some of your skins to make it easier to find the ones you do like, you can archive whatever skins you don't run. For example, I got gifted by Epic Games themselves all of these El Chapulín Colorado skins. This one, the main one, I would run. But all these other ones, I probably won't ever run. So I could go ahead and archive all of these just to remove them from my locker and avoid the clutter. And again, just to make this 100% clear, you're not really deleting them. They do get deleted from your locker, but you can always re-bring them back via the archive section, which again, you find in the sort plus filter. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Basically, like I said, you can somewhat delete 
things from your account, but they truly don't get deleted. It's just to help you sort your locker a little better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Is this a good change, a bad change? For some reason, they didn't advertise it though. Like I said, it wasn't listed in the patch notes and most people were a little confused as to what this even was. So I think I explained it good enough for you guys to understand what this system is all about, but that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is tape time. Which is taper time.